sites. And again, these arose from the bone marrow. And like the monocyte, they have just one nucleus. These cells can be classified in three different ways. They can be considered a T cell, which arises from the bone marrow, but matures in the thymus. It could be a B cell, which arises from the bone marrow and matures in the bone marrow. Or it could be a natural killer cell, or NK cell. T cells come in three different varieties. There's one called the T helper cell, which secretes ingredients to help stimulate the other cells of the immune system. There is the T suppressor cell, which suppresses some of the actions of the other cells in the immune system. And there is also a T cytotoxic cell, which helps destroy tumor cells. The B cell is the cell that eventually becomes a plasma cell, and this cell is actively secreting antibodies. Both T cells and B cells are part of what we call the adaptive immune system, meaning that once these cells see something come into the body, they're able to remember that and to launch a defensive against that should it ever arrive in the body again. The natural killer cell attacks virally infected cells, it attacks tumor cells, and this is more part of the innate immune system, meaning that it does not need special priming, it just notices something's wrong and does some attacking at that point. We can find lymphocytes not only in the bloodstream in transit from the bone marrow or the thymus, but we can find them in the spleen and lymph nodes and your appendix. I want to point out, when we look at lymphocytes under the microscope, we cannot tell just by looking at them whether they're a T cell or a B cell or an NK cell. It's only by using special molecular markers that we are able to tell the difference. In HIV, we will notice a decrease in the number of T cells circulating throughout the body. But when you have a viral infection or leukemia, you will see an increase of lymphocytes in the bloodstream. You will also see an increase of these lymphocytes during mononucleosis. 